Good morning students. In today's session, we are going to discuss about batteries topic. In general, batteries are classified into primary and secondary. Primary is nothing but non-rechargeable, whereas secondary is rechargeable. Here, the first example that we are going to discuss about a not rechargeable battery is nickel cadmium battery or sometimes NICATS. Before getting into the topics, we should know some basic difference between cells and batteries. A cell is nothing but made up of electrodes, electrolytes and some of the cases salt bridges and some external circuits. And batteries is nothing but combination of cells. Before getting into the batteries, we should have some clear idea regarding the components of batteries. The basic raw materials are anodes, cathode, electrolytes. In our present case, the cathodes is nickel oxide hydroxide and the anode is cadmium and the electrolyte is potassium hydroxide or sometimes even you can use sodium hydroxide that's why in general we used to call as an alkaline electrolyte and the potential developed in this nickel cadmium battery is around 1.2 old it's less than the normal Laclanchi cell. Okay. Now let us get into the topic of constructing the battery and what are the chemical reactions get involved in that. We'll have a brief discussion regarding that. As I said earlier, the anode is nothing but cadmium and the cathode is nothing but nickel oxide hydroxide and a separator and the electrolyte is potassium electrolyte. My dear students, you people are aware about the reactions getting involved in anode and the reaction getting involved in cathode. Again, it's a universal concept. Always in anode, oxidation reaction takes place and in cathode, reduction reaction takes place. In our present case, the anode is nothing but cadmium rods. Cadmium on oxidation gives two electrons and it gets converted to hydroxide. Now the question is from where in goes this OH minus. As we discussed earlier the electrolyte what we are using here is nothing but potassium hydroxide. The hydroxide is get entrapped by the cadmium ions and it releases two electrons in the anodic regions. Now the next thing is cathodic reaction. Here the cathode what we are using is nickel oxide and hydroxides. Cathode is nothing but always electrode electrode where the reduction reaction takes place. Here what are the electrons released by the anodic compartment is get involved in the reduction reaction towards the cathodic compartment. And the nickel oxides and hydroxide is get converted into the nickel hydroxide and regenerates another OH minus ions. And here I have highlighted the overall reaction involved in this nickel cadmium battery. Always the positive reaction, I mean the forward reaction is nothing but charging and the backward reaction is nothing but discharging reactions. The next topic is regarding the advantages of nickel cadmium batteries. Based on our requirements, the nickel cadmium batteries we can design in different shapes and size. And it's having the ability to deliver full power output until the end of cycle. And it's having a very low internal resistance property. And it's very simple and fast to recharge over a thousand cycles. 
the conditions apply if it is properly maintained. And the very very important range of nickel cadmium batteries is it functions in wide range of temperatures, temperature independent. And the next topic we are going to discuss about is disadvantages of nickel cadmium batteries. The major drawback of nickel cadmium battery is it is three to five times more expensive than lead acid batteries. And the self discharge up to 10% in a day. And the material whatever we are using in this nickel cadmium batteries are toxic. And the recycling infrastructure for large nickel cadmium batteries is very limited. And the process is not that much simple. So this is a major drawback of nickel cadmium batteries. Students, once again, I'm just giving some brief discussion regarding a nickel cadmium batteries. Nickel cadmium batteries is nothing but a rechargeable battery and the anode what we are using is cadmium and the cathode is nickel oxides and hydroxides and the electrolyte is potassium hydroxide in a separator and the potential developed in this nickel cadmium battery is 1.2 volts. As I started earlier always in the anode compartment oxidation reactions takes place and in the cathode compartment a reduction reaction takes place and the forward reaction is charging and the backward reaction is discharging my dear students please make it sure while writing the content in the examination please once again check it whether you have highlighted the appropriate key points or not the very important key points in this is please highlight the nature of anode nature of cathode anodic reaction cathodic reaction overall reaction electrolytes and the potential developed inside the system thank you